Hi, everybody. Nancy here. Okay, in a recent video, I said something about downloading a black washi tape instead of a colored washi tape. That's what I usually do just because I can create my own washies. And someone asked me, well, how do I do that? So let me show you. There's several ways. I'm going to show you a couple of them. What, creating washi is the easiest thing in the world in Zoom Notes. Anything is the easiest. <laughs> Anything you do is the easiest thing in the world, doing it in Zoom Notes, if you know how. And um, this is not just for washi. This is for any black image or any image that you can grab So or create a boundary shape. So, first of all, um, I'm going to go to my symbols and get... A patterned paper let's say I'm gonna use this one this time tap on it now see notice that it is clear okay um, that is not a brown and white it's a white and clear transparent so if I do this first right now like the way one way of doing it um, if I select my washi, now this is, we'll say that's the one I downloaded from the free site, and I put my image on top, my washi on top of the background or whatever I, whatever paper, whatever paper. Um, well, let me do another one just to show you. So there's two of them here. Um, I put all my papers. I could download them from the web, but since I have most of them here, I might as well do them here. Oh, you know what? I deleted a bunch. Uh, let me do these. That's wood. I don't want that. We'll, we'll do this just to have something different. It'll look like the, the washi was crinkled. Okay. So if I, I take my black template that I got, I downloaded, and I put it here, and I go to image over on the selection menu over on the left and do mask image. That just created that. <laughs> Nothing to it, right? Okay. Now, what I, I messed up, I should have I should have created um, a second copy of that of that washi. So let me go back and search for washi so that I can find that that black image again. If I'd made a copy, I wouldn't need to do this, but here it is. So there. All right. Now, I'll take this same image, do the same thing on top of the crinkled paper, and go to the selection menu again. Now, I could do it up here at the top because I have a uh, mask up here on my toolbar, but I, I like to show you guys from the this menu so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm on image. I'm going to mask image and I'm fixing to do it again. Let me, <laughs> I was about to make another mistake. Okay. So now I made a copy of it. Now select the, the, um, you can select either the paper or the washi. It doesn't matter. Do mask image. And there you have your washi. Now that's the difference. It left if you select the background, it'll leave your washi tape intact, but it gets rid of everything on the, the paper. That's a cool washi. <laughs> okay. Now, this is a what We'll go ahead, since we created this one here, let me show you another way of doing it. Um, if I go to Shape Operations and find Boundary Shape, it just found the boundary shape. And if I do grab, 
which is down um, well let me do it from the tool here so that you can see what I'm doing the grab tool is on the image tools the far right grab image okay it if it just took that washi uh, shape that we created and made the grab shape the same so now I tap off do copy and I need to do this somewhere else so you'll be able to see. well I'll just double tap and then see I just pasted it by double tapping and there it is if I make it smaller you can see it okay <laughs> well there you go you can have a framed washi um, let's see I'm trying oh another thing I'll do a lot uh, is go ahead and go to the fill tool see I've used the background so far and to change the color of the background I just go to the, the gear over on the right on the pages menu and change the surround color so if I wanted the stripes to be blue and now I use this particular see now the way I did it before with the masking this looks like it's blue and, and black but it's not it's still clear so if I want it to keep the blue then what I would need to do is take it and do the masking like I, I showed you so I will um, create a mask now let me go ahead and show you um, because my my default for the shape is um, no border and no fill you can't see what's going on so I'm gonna add a border and make it blue so that when I create the mask you'll see it uh, I'm gonna again I'm gonna select that image see it, it it's, it's really cool washi <laughs> and I go back to my selection menu up at the top find boundary shape and see that just created a shape and with the outside um, border now if I do grab and I have this selected I do a grab then the grab shape is going to be um, the same shape as the the shape that I have selected now doing grab it's going to make this thing blue and black so if I tap off of it do copy and double tap uh, or however you do paste I double tap with my fingers and see here now it's got the blue background on it so what that says to me or to you should is that you can create if you have some ping images like I do here all these files are ping so they have a transparent background uh, cancel out of this cancel all of these are patterns that have a clear background so if you want the color of the background let's say this then you need to do the grab and you can change the background color to anything you want I keep choosing that any surround color and then do the grab and that's the color of your washi okay so again we'll select no Nancy get your select tool and this is already a shape so I get that and do uh, the grab move it over to the background that you want to use and do tap off copy double tap to paste now I'm double tapping on my um, iPad 
with my fingers. And there's the washi. Okay. Now, I, <laughs> I, before I cut myself off, let me show you what I was going to show you. Uh, I'm going to delete all of this. And I'm going to do the fill tool. And from pasteboard. And see, because that that washi was the last thing that I, last image I created, that would be the pattern, but I don't like that, so we're going to undo that. I'm going to find a different image. Let's see, this is um, for my fill. See on my, my favorites toolbar here, I've got my bucket selected so these are some of my favorite backgrounds so if I tap on one of those and then tap on my screen it will fill with that black and white polka dot Ooh, that hurts your eyes way too small so I need to delete that golly that hurts um, select it and delete it come on Yeah, that, that locked her up. <laughs> it's like I'm not doing anything else. Forget about it. Or maybe, let's see. Yeah, I, I locked it up. So, you know, only I can do these things. I'm going to restart Zoom Notes. And I'm going to go ahead and leave this in here just so you can see what I do. If I if I lock things up, I'll just start over. Um, open that screen back. And it's spinning. There. Okay. Now, we're not going to do that again. We're, we'll go to the bucket tool and look at the saved well you know what i actually like the one that's on there it's hard to see it looks like snow so i'm going to tap on my green and add that background because i i like it now i can take my grab thing again select the last grab i made or the shape make it bigger move it over to one of the fill spots and do grab again and just tap off copy and I'll go ahead and do paste from here since do paste now notice that it has the black back uh, it has the um, the outline and that's why I don't usually put the outline because I don't want it to grab that all right um, but because I did it so you guys could see it it actually did what I could do to avoid that let me show you a, a different thing if I select it now I selected the background I select that image then move it on top of here and do the grab again now I can resize that grab just pull it in a little bit do or easier would be to well, I'll go ahead and do copy but let me do it again so if I select I can, if I select this, then choose grab. Now, it's so cool because he just updated this so that it does this, but you can move this around and actually resize it now. And now tap off and do copy and paste. Again, I'm going to use my paste from my toolbar up here. And I can either paste his image or just paste. 
and here it is. Okay. <laughs> so many ways to do it. I hope I haven't confused you with too many ways, but anyway, uh, that's why I get the black. Now, again, it doesn't matter if I could have done the same exact thing with a washi that I already had, like this one. I had this already, probably downloaded it from somewhere. I can do the same process. I can go to here, go to Shape Operations, uh, go to the Selection menu, then Find Boundary Shape. It just found the shape of that washi. And now I can do the same thing. Do Grab, Grab, bot on, under Image Tools, Grab, and reduce it in size move it where I want it on whatever color I can change this color again okay um, okay I, I'm, I'm about to get myself sidetracked here but go ahead and do that tap off do copy do paste and there it is now see that's a way to give the illusion that there's a hole in that that right there so you've just created a frame with that that's kind of cool um, and just grab that so if I wanted to use that as a frame let me make it a little bit it'll be different for sure now I'm going to select the outside edge and do the same thing, do grab, tap off, copy, and let me change the color just so I can, I, I'll make it a different color, uh, make it not too obnoxious, okay, now if I paste, there's my frame. <laughs> notes is magic okay anyway i think that's all i wanted to show you <laughs>